It's Chris from L3D and if you watch my most recent video, you saw how to fully engrave this tumbler with the Xdoor F2 using the RA3 rotary. Well, it took two hours, which we accepted at the time, but since then we found a way to have that time and I wanna show you guys as quickly and as urgently as possible so that you can implement it into your workflow and have that engraving time. So let's get on and let me show you how to do it. So we are back in Xtool Studio and if you guys remember yesterday I imported a design and I'm going to do the same thing here. We set it up to engrave um, just to show you and I will set it now. The perimeter was 273 millimeters. I have made the same perimeter on that. I'm just going to quickly size this in front of you guys now so you can see what I did. 273 millimeters and I think I made it 110 millimeters wide and I centrally positioned it on there. And what I did is I right clicked, made it its own layer. So this is our blue light pass. Then I made a separate copy and paste, gave it a different color, and that was my infrared pass. I'm now gonna centrally locate them and make sure they're in the right position so that everything is identical. So this is set up the same way that we had when we did our engraving in my previous video, which you can check out by the way. So if I click process now, it should give us approximately one hour and 43 minutes, I think it was. So as expected, it is one hour and 44 minutes. And if we look at the path preview, if you remember, I was confused as to why it was going all over the place like this. And we just went with it because that's what we had at the time. However, since then, a friend of mine called Beth, and she's got her own channel called Abby's Attic Creations, told me something that has been an absolute game changer and made this ridiculously faster. So I'm gonna show you that now. So if we select, if we separate our two passes off, okay? What I didn't realize is when you import these vector images in, and these ones are from Creative Fabrica, but I believe it's the same for any imported SVG or vector, they come in as complex vectors. They do not come in as compound vectors. And a compound vector is a simplified vector that is seen by the processor as one complete image. So what we're gonna do is right click, make compound vector on the first one. We're gonna do the same on the second one. And what it will do, it will actually mess up the settings. You can see they're both blue light now, but I need one as an IR pass. So that's that one. So let's put them both in the same position again that they were in. And we're gonna rerun that process and see what that difference in time is. Uh, if I can find the align center, there we go. So there we go, I'm just gonna make sure it is actually spot on. I want this identical to give you a good correlation and comparison. So let's click process, and now we will see the difference in the process in time, and you will see if I'm telling the truth or if I'm absolutely full of rubbish. Okay, so look at that, 56 minutes and 19 seconds. It has literally half the time and most importantly, if we go to view path now and we drag it along, it's going side to side and rotating the tumbler as it does it instead of going back and forth. And I think that will give us a more consistent engraving as well. That has absolutely transformed tumblers on the F2. I hope you see the value in this because it really is a valuable piece of information that I really wanted to give to you guys as soon as possible. So there you have it, we've learned something new. I hope this has been really useful to you. I wanted to get it out to you guys as soon as possible, just to hope that you can do it yourself and half the time. So if you've got something out of this today, please feel free to watch that tutorial. Also hit that subscribe button, like and comment. It all helps the channel growth and I really love you all. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.